Senhor não faz. Eu tenho que ter fé em Deus para não fazer. Fé tem que estar em Deus. Saúde em primeiro lugar, por quê? Let's give him a clap of him, a wondrous, wonderful clap of him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you not done so many things from January to this moment? It doesn't matter the title of pastor. Just go back and say, I'm born again. And that is the fact that you do not come to the church that you should go to to be born again. Or at least to be born again. One of them will not make you born again. Except for grace. Appreciate him. Thank him for all that he has been doing and is still doing. Give him all the glory. Daddy, we thank you this hour. We cannot quantify nor count it enough for all the wondrous and mighty things you have been doing in our life. To you be all the glory. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, do we pray? Our theme for the month says divine attention for partaking of God's power. Let's see where we go from here. But I'm going to pray through the book of Acts. The book of Acts. Manifesting. I don't want you to shout. And then while you are saying the power of the Holy Spirit should manifest in your life, we have talked about fire. Holy Spirit can be represented by so many things. He's represented by fire. He's represented by water. Anything. It still means the power of the Holy Spirit. Ask yourself, is the manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit in your life? So if there is none, ask this morning, while you are silent, I, all eyes be closed. Ask God, let the power of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit minister in my life. Shall we turn into prayer? Turn into prayer. Don't open your mouth silent in your heart. The power of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is not manifesting, my brother, you are just living. My sister, we are just living this earth in vacuum. Let the power of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit manifest in my life. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Quickly, we flip to chapter 2. In chapter 2, there was the reflect of the Holy Spirit. The reflection of the Holy Spirit. The promise of Christ came to pass.
see me, your light through me will illuminate them. Let your power reflect, become a reflection that everywhere I go, everywhere I am, myself. You know yourself. Are you an ambassador of Jesus? Are you truly? Yes, you are walking in church. Everybody can see you running as here and there. People can even who did Jesus see? But this is an ambassador of this world. Father, make me an ambassador of at that moment, you need nobody's instruction but Christ. And finally, no one has the Holy Spirit that you do not see the grace of God. The grace of the living God, the past. Your grace. I 
And so he hid his face. The Lord said, I have seen how many people are suffering as slaves in Egypt. And I have heard them place help because of the way they are hurting and being mistreated. I have heard them and I have seen how they are being mistreated. I feel sorry for them and I have come down to rescue them from the Egyptians. I will bring my people out of Egypt into a country where there is good land, rich with milk and honey. I will give them the land where the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Pesites, and the Hittites and the Jebusites.
Master now. Ask God to visit you. Pray for yourself. Visit me today. Let today be my day. Say to me, the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for yourself, brethren. Attend to me and solve all my problems. The name of Jesus Christ. Don't let me go back the same way I came here. Lord Almighty, do something great, something marvelous in my life. Turn around my life for better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren. Thank you, the master of the universe, the emperor of the universe, the one who is, who was, and who is to come, the almighty God. We lift your name on high because there is none like unto you. We thank you, Lord Almighty. We have come to this spiritual hospital to be healed, to be delivered, to be set free. Lord, no one come to your presence and go back the same. The Bible says, they that appear in Zion, every one of them, they move from glory to glory. Today is our day of glorification. The name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my God Almighty, as your word will come in power, come with fire, come with authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the apostolic authority follow this world. Let it work the work of redemption, the work of salvation, the work of restoration, the work of breakthrough. The work of healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be all about you and none of me today, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over every soul. Under the influence of my voice this morning. Both virtual and in person. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. The word that is coming forth will shine light upon your life. I declare light in every region of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus, at the end of the service of today, everyone under the influence of my voice, we go home blessed. The name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, speak your word. Let you come with authority, with apostolic power. In the name of Jesus, let you come accurately, O God, from the throne of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, shine your light. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be jubilation and celebration. Let there be fierce of testimony in this place. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We bless your name in Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's have our seat in the wonderful presence of God. I want you to greet your neighbor to your right and to your left. You are welcome to the presence of God. You will not miss your blessing today, my neighbor. And I will not miss mine. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. This is a Thanksgiving service. I said this is a Thanksgiving service. I know God has done a whole lot of things in our life, my life and your life. Since the beginning of this year, January, February, March, and we are in the month of April. First quarter is gone. We are now in the second quarter. Why don't you jam your hands together for Jesus? It's not everybody that started this year still alive right now, though. For God Almighty has a purpose for your life. So he's defending you. Even when you don't know, God is defending you. There are some spiritual battles that God Almighty has killed, has destroyed for you unknowingly. 
Praise the Lord. Why don't you jam your hand together for Jesus once again? Father, we appreciate you for all what you are doing in our life, family, and the church. The Lord Almighty will continue to protect and guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to celebrate before we finish this service today. So get ready. Let your dancing shoes, let it be so fine and correct. Praise the Lord. I'm going to see the person that's going to beat me in dance today. Even brother, even brother wisdom. Except brother wisdom. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's appreciate God in his life. Amen. David danced in such a way that his nakedness was revealed. And there was a woman who said, oh, you king, as honorable as you are, you are dancing like this. Oh, my God. David said, I'm dancing to the master of the universe, the almighty God, the God that took your father out of the throne and placed me here. Because that woman was the, uh, the daughter of King Saul. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. King David was the only king in Israel that saw his son on the throne. Forty years of his passing, he fought. He conquered all the cities and states around him. He took garrisons and all these things. So when Solomon came, he had no war to fight. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. So as he danced, the peace of God will come to him. So get ready. Jesus mighty name, it will be a day of dancing, and our dancing will not end until we see the glory in Jesus' name. Define attention for baptism of power. That is our prophetic thing for the month of April. Define attention for baptism of power. And our text is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter number 3. I, I'm not going to read, but everything is from number 1 to 12. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, verse 7 now, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by the reason of their tax master. For I know their sorrow. They have been crying for forty and thirty years. But one day, just like this, God paid attention to them. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter how long you have been in that condition that you have, that you don't like. God Almighty will pay attention to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up. God will bring somebody up out of the land unto a good land and enlarge. <laughs> That's enlargement. Unto a land flowing with Hamorites and Hesite and Hevite and the Jebusite. Now, therefore, he gave that man an assignment. Behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, I will send thee unto Pharaoh. At age 85, that man received the instruction in direction of his destiny. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. Today is your day of destiny. Amen. It just only two people say amen. Amen. You can be going to church. Yes. I don't. I care less about how many years you have been a Christian. But every service matters. Every service matters. Today is your day of destiny. Amen. Because what God is here. How do I know that? Because I carry God come. And he has said in his word that everywhere that two or three people gather together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So God is here. And he's here to solve all problems. Amen. He's here to procure answers to all the problems. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God reach you by his word. The word you are listening to right now. It's not a physical doctor that's going to press your belly, press your neck, ask you to carry this leg, ask you to carry that leg. God Almighty is spirit. 
And they that serve him, they serve him in spirit and in truth. The word that you are listening right now is life. God reach you through his word. Anything that the world cannot do, that's exactly what God cannot do. And there's nothing God cannot do. Because you cannot separate God from his word. John chapter 1, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, the word was to God, and the word was God. So, when you pay attention to God, he will pay attention to you. And he will empower you to fulfill your destiny. Somebody say Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I just pray the ushers will help us today. When we are talking about attention, attention means focus and to act on a particular thing or person. You know, when they write to you, maybe some credit company, they can write to you, and they, on the envelope they will say, Reply, attention required. They want you to put the word, the, that envelope, open it, and attend to it. Re request service required. They put it one way. Praise the Lord. So they don't want you to put that envelope in the garbage. Because there's a whole lot of letter that is coming to you, we just want you to attend to it. Amen? Amen. That is how God will attend to somebody's case today. Yeah. Return service requested. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Attention is to focus and to act on a particular thing or person. Define attention is God focusing and taking action concerning a person or a thing. So now, the God is divine. So when he's attending to you or things concerning you, it causes a change. And that change is already a change for better. Amen? Amen? So therefore, baptism of divine power is an unusual level of divine empowerment that positions you as a solution provider in your generation. When you have the power, the power is just enough for you to try but when we are talking about baptism of power, take you from a well to a flowing water, rivers of living water. That is what God baptism. That is, the power is so much that is draining all over your body. Anywhere you go, miracle. So sickness will not be able to stay in your body because, because fire is too much. When some, when church, pray hard, and we have holy people, pray hard, the fire of the Holy Ghost will be so high in the church, so darkness will not be able to stay. Every darkness in this place, I serve you notice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Baptism of power takes you to the realm of overflowing anointing to heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, set the captive free. You can see that in the life of Jesus in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts 10, 38. The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus Christ with Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good? Healing those that are oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. For him to be able to heal, the power is just overflowing. Remember, the woman of 12 years of issue of blood, he didn't touch Jesus, he touched his garment. That's why when you see an anointed man of God sitting in one place or have a jacket and by faith you wear his jacket, he can be healed. Paul the Apostle, God baptized him in power so much because of divine attention. He doesn't have to go there. He just sent his mantle there. Go show him to them. And at the mantle of Paul, sickness, back. Come on. I pray in the name of Jesus, faith in Paul Chapel will become an epitome of power. 
the name of Jesus Christ. A bit of more power. The name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen properly. Somebody say amen properly. I'm talking about divine attention for baptism of power. Without power, you cannot fulfill your destiny. There is power to achieve. There is power to achieve. Listen to me. If you don't have power and something is going on for you, what is going on for you? Everyone, Jack and every Tom and Tom and Harry can achieve what you have achieved. But if you want to move from the realm of ordinary to extraordinary, you need extraordinary power to achieve what others don't achieve. Praise the Lord. Praise be the Lord. So the power never to be an ordinary person is in the house. The power to become an extraordinary human being is in this place right now. Receive yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God will attend to you, you will be empowered to achieve your destiny in the name of Jesus. The final attention is a difference maker in the life of any man. There was a man in the book of John chapter 5. This man was by the pool of Bethsaida, very important man. And the Bible says there are flocks of important people around the pool. And this man, whenever the angel of the Lord came, if because he was an important man, he couldn't get there. Another person would bypass him. They bypass you, you know. It is time for you to be, to God to move you from the, from the, from the back bench to the front line. Who is receiving that in Jesus' mighty name? In your place of work, in your family, anywhere you are, they won't take decision without your reference. In the name of Jesus Christ, as from today, God will turn you and I to an extraordinary human being by the baptism of the power of God through divine attention. The Lord will attend to us. Look at the body pool, John chapter 5, from verse 1 to 9. That man was the only man God attended to. The Bible said they are important folks. But Jesus, the carrier of power, the originator of power, was just one man. There's somebody, one person in this place that God is going to attend to. I'm the person, I'm the person. Amen. And Jesus just walk impotent for it bypass some people. Some people are lame, hurt, blind. He bypassed them and he walked to this man. Do you want to be made old? And the man was complaining. I'm lame. I don't have the decent. Before I got there, somebody passed. For God Almighty has already finished his work of deliverance. So God Almighty bypassed all his complaints, put it aside, and healed this man. And after he healed this man, Jesus left to find attention. The question is that where are the other people? What were they looking at? They saw this man be, they just rose up. And the man began to walk. And uh, they saw that he has come in contact. Somebody has came to attend to him. Ordinarily, you will want to say that, oh, all of them should rise up and be following Jesus. But the final is nobody, nobody brought you here today. Holy Spirit brings you here. And it's individualistic. And this is a spiritual hospital. Anything that is plaguing your life ends today. The name of Jesus Christ. I see end to era of wumbling and fumbling in somebody's life. The name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. God is about to bring your life together. The name of Jesus Christ. And a certain man was there, which had been infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there now long, t long time, in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made old? The impotent man answered him, said, I have no man 
when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise and take thy bed and walk. Instantly, the man rose and began to walk. The destiny that had been crumbled, the destiny that has been lied down the air before, any part of your life that is not going well according to the word of God, I command them to arise right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The final attention is real. The final attention for baptism of power connotes God intervention in the life and affairs and of your life and unleashing more than enough power upon you to fulfill your destiny and also helping others to fulfill their purpose. Slave, don't deliver slave. You need freedom to deliver people. Where well, what you have is just convenient for you. So anyone that comes to you, they're going to plague you with lack. But God Almighty is attending to you today so that you can be a difference maker in your world. Listen to this. No one achieves destiny without power. That's why people on the opposite side of faith, they run to a courtic maid so that they can achieve destiny. And that one is just shortly. The devil that gave them power, the devil will call it power. destiny of this man is an evangelist called could he achieve destiny like that how far could this man go no so when God attend to you the first thing is, is going to empower you you can't be crippled no more and when the power comes power to achieve your destiny Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Somebody say amen. Listen to this. The man that Jesus healed by the pool. When Jesus arrived in the, in the tabernacle, whom did he see? He saw this man. He saw this man. He did not. Is the church the same thing as the pool of Bethsaida? No. After he got healing, he was proclaiming Jesus. He was showing around. Look at me. Oh, who healed me? Jesus. You see that man? Jesus. His destiny is to be an evangelist. To show faith to God. When he was here, some place he was. How could he achieve destiny? So when the power comes, the power will swallow your inability. And we give you ability. We turn your ordinary to extraordinary. Who is in this place receiving that? In the mighty name of Jesus, receive yours in Jesus' name. It could be in the realm of finance. It could be in the realm of your paper. It could be in the realm of childbirth. It could be in the realm of your family. It could be in ministry. It could be your physical health, your healing. Receive your power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let the power of healing flow. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Without God's attention, you cannot go far in your life assignment. God has to go with you. Praise the Lord. The sons of prophet, they look at Elijah, ah, where, we, where we are right now is too narrow. We need enlargement. Enlargement is coming to faith super chapel. You want to go over there, cut beam, and erect a very big sanctuary. So that we can so that we can be built sanctuary for you. The prophet said, okay, no problem, go. They are so small. And we can't go unless you follow us. And when they got there, they were cutting beam. The asset fell into the water. Solution provider is there. The carrier of the Holy Ghost, the prophet. Then where is it? They're right here. We can't see it. It's there. They saw the big stage. The big go down. 
everything that is lost in your life. Everything that is lost in your life, let them begin to flow right now. You are following us on this service. I declare and I decree. Whatsoever devil has stolen from you, receive it back in the name of Jesus. How could you build a sanctuary as large as they have said without us head? You need to cut base. So devil crippled them in order to stop their destiny, in order to stop their mission. But God intervened by attempting. God is going to attempt to come by this place. In the name of Jesus. If you are the one, say amen properly. If you are the one I'm talking about, say amen properly. Now, the question is this. If God attend to me, what do I stand to gain? If God attend to my case right now, what do I stand to gain? What do I stand to gain? What do you stand to gain? It's a product of the capacity of the person that is attending to you. Praise the Lord. When you need some attention, you know, for ex just to drive it home, to, to drive this point home, and you need, let's say you need promotion at your place of work. You need promotion at your place of work. And you are doing the best you could to contra, to surpass every deadline, to do whatever you can do, make sure that you, when they give you assignment, you complete your assignment on time. Everything perfect, performance great, appraiser very good. Okay, and you want to be promoted. You have a manager on top of you that you look at your appraiser that can recommend you for promotion. And there are some some of your contemporaries, your homeboys in your department that you normally hang out with. Praise the Lord. And you want to write a letter to motivate anyone that can help you to be promoted. You need them to attend to that letter. Praise God. And you sent your letter to your contemporary. Do your contemporary have the power to promote you? No. You are in the same level. Praise the Lord. If you want to really want promotion, then you need attention from your superior officers. And God Almighty is extra superior in the whole world. Superior over death, over sickness, over disease. He demonstrated his superiority at the resurrection. So everything that is tormenting you is under his feet. So the person that's going to attend to your case, he has all the power. And he made it known in Matthew chapter 28. From verse 18 to 20. The all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Praise the Lord. And we have even read about it in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. So the person that will attend to you, what do you stand to gain? What are the benefits of divine attention? The benefit is a product of the personality of the person that is attending to you. So I want to quickly go over the person. So that you can be expectant as we go through this month. Number one, God can offer all that you need. All that you need. He can offer you all the power that you need to achieve. God can offer you all the power that you need to In the book of Psalm 62, Psalm 62. The Bible says, the book of Acts 10, 38, say, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power, and who went about doing good, healing those that were oppressed of the devil, because God was with him. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8, he said, all power, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible says, all power is given unto him, right? But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And you shall be witness unto me 
in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. To the uttermost part of the world. To the uttermost part of the world. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Media, please be fast with me today. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The Bible says, For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but what? So all your fear destroy in this service. For so many that is causing you fear. Fear with fear, fear in your life in Jesus' name. In First Chronicle chapter 20, 29, verse 11. First Chronicle 29, verse 11. First Chronicle 29, verse 11. The Bible says, Thy whole Lord is the greatness of the power and of glory and of victory and the majesty for all that is heaven and in heart. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wives of the devil. Praise the Lord. It's an advice. It's an advice. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the power to achieve, receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Number two. He can give you more than enough blessing, a miracle, because his name is Jehovah El Shaddai. Jehovah El Shaddai. He has more than enough. I'm going at the personality of God that is attending to you. God that is attending to you, his personality is Jehovah El Shaddai. The God that is more than enough. The almighty God, the God that is more than enough. God, our mommy's breast. God, our mommy's breast. The breast of mommy can never run dry. Let the baby suck, 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 suck. The baby will tire. Praise the Lord. it, managing it, no. God wants you and I to flow in abundance, in surplus, so that we can be a blessing. Listen to me. Victory is not for the victors alone. Victory is for the victor and everyone around the victor. So, but you can't be a blessing if you are still struggling. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because Jehovah held your die was in the house. Every struggle in your life terminating this service. Somebody say amen properly. Somebody say amen properly. In John 10.10, 10, he gives life abundant. He's the one that has everything in surplus. It's life abundant. Number three, he is God of promotion and provision. He's God of provision and promotion. Praise the Lord. He can provide for all your needs according to his riches in glory. The Bible call him Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. The great provider. The God that provides. The God that provides. Genesis chapter 22 from verse 1 to 18. He provided a ram head by the ticket for Abraham instead of Isaac. He was about to slaughter the boy. He said, oh, now I know. That's the ram for the sacrifice. Jehovah Jireh. 
we show up for you the name of Jesus Christ in every area that you are looking for intervention Father Lord Almighty show up for us in the name of Jesus Christ the name of Jesus Christ in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 the Bible says my God shall supply all my need according to your power according to his riches in glory through who? through Christ Jesus number 4 he can heal you heal off your sickness is the doctor of all doctors listen to me I respect your doctor we thank God for the doctor they are blessed people but doctor dies we serve a God that cannot die the Bible calls him ancient of days before the world began is it from generation to generation God will exist because he doesn't live in the in the realm of time he lives in eternity so he's able to heal you the Bible call him the great physician that that is his qualification I'm preparing your mind so that you your faith will eat the root go to the sky so that you can be expectant so you see what God can offer Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Every negative doctor's report destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot do this, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. I cancel that utterances by the blood of Jesus. Some doctor will even tell you, oh, you're going to take medication to, 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 to the end of your life. I cancel that with the blood of Jesus. When next you go for physical or anything, the story will change for better. God will this your doctor. The name of Jesus Christ. The doctor of doctor will show up for us. Anywhere you are feeling pain right now, begin to touch that place. Because the Jehovah is in the house. The great healer is in the house. The Bible calling Jehovah Rapha. In the name of Jesus, Father, let the healing virtue flow. Everything that doctor says is impossible. Maliba karaboshata. Prove yourself and make it possible, oh Lord. Heal every sickness in the house. Heal every disease in the house. Let there be testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll stop here because of our time. Number five. Is the King of Glory. The God that is attending to you today is who? What does the glory does? When the king of glory attends to your case, he returns shame to glory. There are some things that happen in some people's life is making them to be ashamed. God, when are you going to Is it this way? God says now, the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the king of glory we are we attend to you. It doesn't matter who you are. The king of glory will attend to you. If you are virtually following this service, the king of glory will attend to you. We delete all your shame. Instead of shame, receive the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Psalm 24, verse 7. Psalm 24, verse 7. The Bible said, And the king of glory Psalm 24, verse 7. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come. When God attends to you, he's coming. <laughs> fully. Somebody say fully. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No shame can stop the King of glory. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. When the King of glory crashes into your affair, it turned all your mistake to design. People begin to like your mistake. Your mistake will be sellable in New York, in Paris, all over the world. Your mistake. And you know yourself that this is a mistake. <laughs> Listen to me. It's not everything that you are buying right now that the inventors sit down to produce. Some of them came on board as a result of maybe error and it becomes acceptable to the public. That is God turning shame to glory. Turning shame to glory. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Every shame in your life and my life, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I cancel it in Jesus' name. There was a man in the Bible. 
in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 1 to 14. 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 1 to 14. His name was Naaman. Naaman was the commander of the host of Syria. This is a very reputable man, honorable man, was a warrior, a champion. But there's a, there was a bot in his life. He was a devil. That has spoiled everything. Why they give you credit? Oh, you are this, you are that, you are that, you are that. You know, they give you accolade, accolade. At the end of the accolade, they say, but. Ah! That but <laughs> spoiled everything. But God is taking somebody to the realm of glory. Listen to me, there is no but in glory. There's, no, there's nothing to equate glory to. You know? The shining, brightening. No, people gravitate towards glory. Even if there is but in it, people don't see it. That but is turned to glory. Glory overcome it. Praise the Lord. Every but in this church, Father Lord Almighty, cancel and replace with glory in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is attending to us this month. The Lord is attending to faith in Pachapu family. You that follow us on social media, on the digital media, all across the world, I don't get to meet you. And Lord Almighty, we are thanks to you. The name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive forever in heaven. He's the God of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. He's God and He changes not. He's that is Barrenness to fruitfulness, sickness to divine health, poverty to prosperity. Are you ready for this journey? The Lord is taking you, removing the shame, and turning the epitome of glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power to achieve is real. You need power to propagate your destiny. No one achieves destiny by hanging around. You need power to achieve your destiny. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will get there. I will get there. The church will get there in Jesus' name. Why don't you lift up your voices to the Lord as we rise on our feet and begin to thank him. Let's thank him as God Almighty has started attending to us. A miracle will follow. The name of the Lord will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank him for bringing you to church this morning. Thank him for the miracle signs and wonder that he has done in your life. The work of blessing, the work of miracle. Why don't you lift up your voice? Let God hear your voice, brethren. Father, I thank you. I thank you for what you have done for me. I thank you because you are attending to me right now. Thank you for what you have deposited in my life in this service. I want you to thank God in faith. Thank God in faith. Lord, I bless you. I appreciate you. Oh, Lord, thank you for attending to this case in my life to attend to this case in my life. Thank you for proving the devil wrong. The mighty name of Jesus, I appreciate you, Lord, because there will be a new beginning for me in this service. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, Father, the name of Jesus, every Egyptian in my life, terminate their hair now. Attend to me. Give me liberty and freedom. Pray that prayer for yourself. Every Egyptian in my life, let them drown in the rest of this service. Terminate their era today, right now. Lord, give me freedom. Freedom. Let me walk out of this place in liberty. Financial freedom. Marital freedom. Freedom in my career, in my job. Ministerial freedom. In every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ, attend to me. Raise me high. The name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Before I go, just lift up your right hand on your head and pray for yourself. Whatever you want God to attend to, whatever you want God to attend to in your life, tell him right now. This case, this case, I don't want it no more in my life. I don't want this no more in my life. Father, please attend to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let my story change. 
change my story for better. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, name, the power to achieve, let it come upon my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever that has been plaguing my life up until now, let them drown in the red sea of this service. In the name of Jesus, terminate every Pharaoh in my life and my destiny. Command your destiny to come alive by the power of God. I command my destiny to come alive. Wherever it's buried, but I command come alive. You are the one that discovered the axe head that fell into the sea. Father Lord, I want to be a blessing to the world. I want to be a difference maker in my world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I receive the power to achieve, to be a blessing. The name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Makatari Mashata. Brokatali. Every sickness in the house, I curse you. The name of Jesus. Every demon of sickness. Every negative doctor's report. I cancel you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare healing. Let healing virtue flow in this place. Let every pain cease. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is plaguing your people. Makatari Moshata, Meli Brota Kiri Matali. Let there be a turnaround for better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are the God of turnaround. For that turn the life of your people around for better. The name of Jesus Christ, uh, let lack disappear. Let sickness disappear. Stagnation and delay disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, all of you that are still struggling with your papers in this country, I decree and I declare supernatural breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus Christ, Marika Tolima Shatakapo, Rimalibo Rimataka, Rimasata, Keli Matari, the name of Jesus, receive the blessing of God, receive divine attention. You walk in favor as from today, you walk in abundance of today. No more lack, no more sickness, no more disease, no more delay, no more stagnation. Counseled in the name of Jesus, destinies come alive. Jesus' mighty name, take your church from glory to glory. The mighty name of Jesus, let this month be a month of fiesta of testimony for all of us in this parish and for as men that are following this service. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover everyone in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan. Let your blood avail for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We bless your name. We glorify you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, Lord, I declare and I decree all of the prayer that your people have prayed and the utterance that has come out, oh Lord, let them turn to testimonies in Jesus' name. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 3, Peter and John going into the temple and the man by the beautiful gate said, lame man, fasten his eyes on them. Say, silver and gold, we don't have, but what we have we give unto you. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. And instantly the man and could gain strength. Supernatural, immediate one. Father Lord, I declare to your people in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is lame in their life, let them disappear now in Jesus' name. Let every destiny that is paralyzed come alive. The name of Jesus Christ. Our dry bone is rising again. The wall of Jericho is crashing down. The Red Sea part asunder. We are going into our land from where we can honey. God Almighty has established us. In the mighty name of Jesus, our testimony we are bound. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship and we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And somebody say, Amen. Our hands to the man of God, our pastor that God has used. Let us tell God that Jehovah God will refill him back, that heaven will open for him. 
that if we receive more and more, shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray for him? Mighty name, we are free. Eternal rock of ages, we are lifting your servant to your hands and we are free. That you will refill him back in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will cause heaven to open for him the more in the name of Jesus. The word of God in his mouth will turn to fire, to consume, to heal, to deliver in the name of Jesus. You will encourage him in all areas in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. Your word that has gone out, Amen. Holy Spirit, it will fulfill even the one that has been sent in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Shall we be seated? Praise the Lord. It's time to give to the Lord. And I'm going to quickly read the book of Luke, chapter 6. Verse 38. Amen. And it says, Let's give, it shall be given unto you. Do the measure, press them, and shake them together, and run you over, shall make give into your bosom. For with the same measure that he made, with all it shall be measured to you again. Amen. So you want to give. We are going to give cheerfully. And we have various ways of giving. Thank you for giving. You can you see? She knows how to give. Amen. Yeah, we want to give unto the Lord. Oh, the, the abundance he has given unto us. We want to say thank you for sparing our life. I believe most of us experience what happened on, on uh, Friday. And our minister this morning said something. That God wants get our attention. Even the forecaster, they don't even predict it. So, but lo and behold, it happened. But Jehovah God in infinite mercy, he has been keeping us, he kept us. We want to appreciate him. This is April. Lo and behold, we are moving to the middle of the year. Amen? So we want to give him praise for sustaining you, for sustaining me, for being with you, for being with everyone, even the little he has given unto you, with your thanks, with offering, and the thank of our earnings, which is the time. You can give in various ways. You can see, you can give to Zell, the number, and also you may your check to that address, and also you can give with your care. As we give, God will bless us mightily in the name of Jesus. Before I give this microphone even to the choir to give us a danceable song, can we just lift up our offering and prophesy to your offering? Just speak to your offering. Just speak to it. We want God to make it, you know, to make this, the little you have given, to, to, to make it greater than this. Just speak to it. You want your offering to be a channel of blessing to that door, to what you have been seeking for. Talk to him. Talk to your maker. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Too small. I expect you to jump up and shout a very wonderful hallelujah. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's all rise up and dance for our friends.
was born. your hands, including our first fruit. We pray you sanctify it, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let it be used for your glory in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray, O oh God, King of glory, that you will make way for us in every areas of our life with this offering in the name of Jesus. We will not lack, we will not beg in Jesus' name. As many that want to give, that doesn't have now, Lord, we say, O oh God, you will bless them. You will provide for them. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. quickly 
give you a hint of the following announcement before we leave. Our vision remains the same, and is to present the gospel of Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit to the people with the aim of bringing the unsaved to the saving knowledge of Christ and equipping them to attain their divine potential and purpose in life. Our weekly service remains the same, digging deep every Thursday, 7 to 8 p.m. If you are not at work, you can please dial in. Let's study at the feet of Jesus Christ. Breakthrough prayer is every Friday, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Believers class after service, you are enjoyed to please wait immediately after the service for your class. The workers in training school are to wait immediately after service. Then the school of disciples to wait after service. The children manual, children manual is still available and there is ten dollars. And we are all enjoying the parents. I all enjoy to please support the children department. They can work with their HOD and act for their needs. The Lord will bless you as you do in Jesus' name. The RCCG American Convention is coming up in the month of June. We are to please prepare. If you want to go, please, you can go to the ushers and put down your name. Then we are enjoined to please kindly follow and like all our pages on all social media. Praise the name of the Lord. If today is the first time of worshiping here, your first time in this sanctuary, we want you to please raise up your hands the first time of worshiping together. Please, you can please rise up. You can carry your bag because after the prayer, you are sitting at the front seat. We want you to please come to the front. And if you are the one that invited them, you can please join them. Tell us your name. I want also to tell us who invited you. 